Today is day four of uh, not drinking. And um, I have decided to finally, finally, finally escape drinking. Now, I'm unsure about how to go about it, so I'm taking it a day at a time. My biggest concern is um, how I should be in the initial stage because the initial stage is very important. The first 30 days are critical and once the first 30 days are over, I can then compare my life before I was, when I was drinking and what it would be like after. Now, I'm not going to get into why I'm going to quit. I'm just going to show you results of what happens along my journey. Today is day four and in these four days I've had two workouts and today I worked out and burnt 1000 calories. Now how am I managing to stay sober? I hope it's recording. How did I manage to remain sober? Yesterday I worked for 50 minutes, worked out for 50 minutes. Today I have worked out for 106 minutes. So two days and a total active workout of um, 156 minutes approximately two and a half hours workout in two days now um, I know that is remarkable and I can assure you if I was drinking this would not be possible I'm also feeling so much easier in my head because now there's no constant questioning or there will be no constant questioning and this happens every time I quit okay I don't have to question whether I am supposed to drink or not. A lot of my energies go in deciding. And you know what happens? Imagine on a day you say to yourself, I'm not going to be drinking today. And then when you drink, somehow your willpower is affected because you know you're not a man of your decision anymore. You know, you've made a decision, but you can't stick by it. And this causes unequivocal imbalances in other areas of your life. The drinking comer is very different from the non-drinking me. I will avoid and refrain from using the S-O-B-E-R word because um, it kind of drags me down sometimes and I feel, oh my God. Because I, I being a drinker, I've always been like so associated with the word and I, it just stands for boring for me. Have I been bored by working out two days in a row like a giant? No, I feel pretty good about myself. My self-esteem is good and, and affirmative. Wow, it's only been three and a half minutes. I thought I'd been ranting for a while. So um, yeah, yesterday I worked out in the house. Today I went to the gym. I went to the gym after 15 days. So 15 days, no gym for me. I work out in the house uh, like this, but I realize when I go to the gym, I end up working out more because there are people around me working out. So it makes me feel, damn, I have to be better than this guy, right? And I have to be better than that guy who doesn't, hasn't had a bath. And I have to be better than this guy who's supposed to be 10 years younger than me and supposed to be, he is fitter than me, visibly fitter than me. But hey man, I'm me and I'm living my life and everybody else is just an audience and they serve no purpose. My only purpose is to myself. So this, I think, is the ultimate selfishness. Do not drink. What do you guys think? Hey guys, how's it going? So I finished working out maybe half an hour back. I shaved today. Today is Christmas Day. Merry Christmas to all of you watching. And um, I'm just in the process of getting me something to drink. Um, yeah, I will use this. Okay. Yeah, I just, like I said, I did some legs workout today. Okay. So these are the uh, Nespresso coffee uh, capsules that I use. These are the most premium, the strongest ones. These are Starbucks different from Nespresso of course and this machine is called the Nespresso Mini um, just thought I'll show you that because uh, this is my second cup of coffee for the day and uh,
my second cup of coffee today. Um, I did legs workout. I worked out right here. I have all this equipment here, you know. Today is just gonna be a chill kind of a video in which I'm just talking to the camera about how I'm feeling and, and all that. So I hope you guys give a shit about me. Okay. We gotta keep filling this up. Which is a lot of fun to be fair. I like doing little, little things because um, I'm such a screen zombie, you know. There's so much of screen time in my life. That every time I'm not on the screen, everything almost seems productive. Like literally everything, except eating a lot, of course. But e even eating for that matter seems productive. Everything seems productive except being on the screen all the time. The only good screen time I have in the day is when I watch my video to see what I have to, like my workout schedule and all that sort of thing, you know, is the only time I really enjoy it. Um, I shaved today. I am 10 days sober, give or take. Um, I feel much better being sober than I would if I was drinking. If I was drinking, I would keep telling myself that I have to go sober. And I would say, hey man, 1st of December, uh, January, 2nd of January onwards, I'm gonna go sober. But the beginning of the year is such an important uh, way to set your intent about the year that I don't feel I should begin the year with a hangover. I don't feel I should have Christmas with a hangover. I don't think my December should always be full of drinks because if I keep doing the same thing, how will I get somewhere? And uh, it's important to have some goals and ambitions and hopes and dreams in life. This coffee is a 7.5 on 10. Um, like I was saying, um, what else is happening in life? Today is a Saturday, uh, there's no work. Uh, it's a Christmas day. Um, I'm going for a party later. I may have to take my son to see a Christmas tree shortly. I'm not looking forward to it. Um, and, you know, I'm starting to question things which make me uncomfortable and I'm trying to see why they actually make me uncomfortable. Is it the process of being on a, on a holiday and then having to do something? Or just in general, when I have to do something, I think I, I take a lot of stress. So if you ask me or tell me that I have to go out sometime, I take a lot of stress, you know. And then to think about me not drinking in my own brain is such a big thing. You know, that I start thinking about what others will say about me not drinking. Others don't give a shit. Let's be honest, nobody gives a shit about anyone in today's day and age. I mean, you'd be lucky if your mom and dad like you, but that's, that's about it, man. I did record two other videos about being sober. Maybe I'll put them up, maybe I won't. Maybe I, I want people to care, maybe I don't. Um, so let's talk about the good things about not drinking. Let me make sure the camera is on. The good things about not drinking. Let's begin with the number one, the best thing, the, the thing that makes me so grateful. When I'm drinking, I'm irritable. And I'm irritable because I have a bit of a headache. I'm irritable because I'm feeling a bit of motion sickness if I'm in the car of, because of nausea. Uh, my heart rate is a little high which causes more anxiety. My sleep is very ill-defined and uh, let's say if I sleep at 1 a.m. I probably will get up by 8 a.m. and I will not feel very good. The sleep will not be very restful. I will have weird kind of thoughts in the morning. I will wake up with a sense of dread for the day that hangs before me and I always look at people around me like I look at my mother and I'll somewhere envy her I'll envy her because she doesn't drink I look at my father they've had the same normal day they are having their tea they are okay they don't look too happy they don't look too stressed but they seem normal and I look at my wife also and I look at my son and he's play, he wants to play with me but 
I have a I have a headache, you know, so I'm irritable towards him. I'm ir- irritable towards my family, towards the staff that works in the house. And um what do I do when I'm irritable? I think I want to escape the moment. So in order to escape the moment, I probably will go on and switch on let's say um YouTube or Netflix and you know what I'll tell myself? I'll tell myself today I'm not going to go to work. and i'll i'll tell myself that today i'm not going to go to work i'm probably going to sleep for a couple of hours i won't go to the gym either and from tomorrow onwards when i feel okay i will not drink for let's say 2 3 days and try to get my act together but everything is ill defined because you are in that moment you are in stuck in that brain of a repeat offender a repeat offender of alcohol a repeat a repeat abuser you think about the day before and you think about all the stupid messages you sent to your friends and acquaintances you think about the calls i would think about the live stream i've done and i would look back at it begging people for money begging people to donate Of course there's a lot of good things also happen on that happen on my stream I would I would not say that my stream is anything short of legendary when I'm drinking but at what expense does that come and I'll tell you the biggest expense of drinking I know this was supposed to be a point by point elaborate thing about the advantages the biggest advantage is sleep I sleep like a normal human being number 2 I have so much more time to do so many things which I normally keep deferring and not doing. I think a whole new world opens up. I can read books. I can concentrate on my work. There are no days that I take offs. I try never to take an off and if I take an off, I make it count. When I would take an off because I'm hungover, it would be in this kind of a loop or a cycle where I would repeatedly fall pray to my pray to the excuses of my own mind set you know which would say something like hey man tomorrow you're going to is going to be a new day how many tomorrows are there in your life man who am i kidding i probably have about 20000 40000 days left in my life you know and that's not a lot if you really think about it because considering you will probably forget 90% of those 20000 days which you live in your life that means there are only 200 or 2000 days in your life which you will remember a little figment from a little moment from so it's important time is very important don't get me wrong and time spent drinking is very bad and i'll tell you why drinking is a bad habit because if you start your day irritable you're going to be irritable the whole damn day you won't get much done number 2 i would often lie to myself and i would say something like oh because i'm skipping work today i probably am going to not drink for the next 2 3 days and often i would do that like i wouldn't drink for 48 or 72 hours but then something good would happen and i'd be like okay i have a good excuse to drink now i had a decent day at work not knowing that drinking will further take me down the slide and uh, number 3 advantage of not drinking in a moment number 3 advantage of not drinking is i am a little more serious i'm a little more focused and oriented and even if i'm wasting my time because of the precedence which has been set by good sleep i can now make rational decisions not based on impulse or irritability i have i'm i'm more conditioned i guess you know i, I feel more conditioned I I feel like I'm more stable and I'm able to operate better. I feel if I have a goal I can probably achieve it. Whereas when I'm on alcohol it's it's like I'm running like an autopilot zombie and um hmm I know uh, some of you may think that he's only 8 or 9 days sober man. He's probably going to go back and do that. But forget about what I'm going to do and what let's look at what I what let's look at the last the past 10 days I've slept so much my body is in recovery mode so I sleep longer and I'm kind to myself 
I love myself a little more because I allow myself to sleep a little more. Have I worked out on every single day? No. Have I had a lot of junk food in the last few days? Maybe yes, but I've also moved moved around. I've moved around a lot. I finished just one book so far, but imagine this is just the first week odd. Imagine where I will be if I do this for 20 weeks, which is honestly my intent. I, I want to do this for for a very long time and just see what it does to my life. And um, my biggest thing with drinking is that life is not rewarding in itself and drinking makes everything more pleasurable. Could be a misomna. Could be a foolish mindset. I don't know about all that. It could be the truth. For all you know, it could be the truth. For all you know, alcohol is, is the best thing in life and nothing else matters in front of it. But why not find out the real truth? I don't go by what people say. I go by what people say. But I like to find my own truth. I like to find my own um, verdict. And this is my journey. So stay tuned for more. Goodbye.